I'm going to show you how to expand any image in Photoshop using Content Aware Fill and Content Aware Scale. This video is brought to you by the WinX HD Video Converter for Mac. For a limited time, you can get the software for 100% free. Just check the link in the description and enter your email. Right here, I have the program open. I'm going to drag in a file. And here, I'll have options to convert this video into different formats. I'm going to select the YouTube video profile. I'm going to convert it to an FLV file. And I'm going to press Done. And then I'm going to press Run. And I open up the file and it converted it perfectly fine. Make sure to check the link in the description before this offer expires. Let's just say we have a photo like this and we want to make it a little bit taller. You can tell that's very wide. Let's say we want to fill up this top area. And so it's actually very easy. The first thing you want to do is click on the crop tool. This allows you to resize the crop and basically how big this canvas is. After you're done resizing, go over to the top here and press on content aware. And this will basically fill in areas outside the original image. So this is basically this transparent area. And so if you press OK now, it'll fill in the rest of the top area. The issue now we have is that it took some of Logan's hair over here and filled it in. Now what we want to do is just select that portion of the photo, right click and press make selection, and then go over to edits, content aware fill. And here is where we ran into the issue. When we use the content aware feature, it basically selected it automatically. And what it probably did is took parts of Logan's hair and used it as a sampling area to fill in the rest of the image. In this case, we can actually select a custom sampling area. So we're going to choose all this red area here to fill in. So we're just going to select all the red area to give it a little bit more idea of what to fill it in with. And now if you press apply and press OK, you can see the top area no longer has his hair in it. Another way you can do this is go to edit content aware scale. If this is grayed out, it's because your layer is not rasterized or it's locked. But here we'll go to content aware scale and just lift this part up. And so it does a similar job. When using this feature, you might also run into an issue where if you use content aware scale, it'll affect parts of your photo like this. You can see his head is moving. So if you want some parts of your photo unchanged, you can either click on this protect skin tones option which will basically guess which parts are skin tones and have them basically lock now if we lift this up you can see his head doesn't really change that much but let's just say you wanted to do it for his entire body what you would do is select his entire body and his face so here i'm going to go to select subject using the quick selection tool go over to select save selection and name this whatever you want now press Control or command d to deselect now if we go back to content aware scale and we click on protect we can now protect the subject or whatever we just selected. So if we press on the crop tool and have it something like this, we can go over to edit content aware scale and just lift it up and you can see it didn't affect any of his face or anything like that. And the same thing can be said about moving it right. It's a huge difference and you wouldn't be able to do this without this feature. That's about it for this video. Check out this Photoshop playlist and also subscribe for more videos just like this.